Now this is the consistency I was looking for. And it smells really fucking good. Let's, let's try it. It's Prof's Kitchen! The fuck you eating tonight? There's so much beer back here. It's Prof's Kitchen! The fuck you eating tonight? Ooh. What have I done here? Turn the city upside down, going dumb here. You little motherfuckers ain't even from here. I'm kind of five pot or a bitch, was it unclear? I'm off safe. Here's the game changer. There's quite a few of us here. I'm gonna take that wallaby, kill it, put it on a burger. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, everybody, and welcome to a summer edition of Prof's Kitchen. Today's gonna be an iffy one. We're doing a very weird personal rendition on New Orleans dirty rice. We'll see. So the other day I ate some Zatarans, um, New Orleans style rice, and it just came with its own pre-packet fill with MSG and shit, and I thought, that's bullshit, so let me try it myself. But if I'm going to go through all this trouble trying something for the first time myself, I'm going to want to eat it as a full meal, so I'm going to put beans and meat in it. So I saw this healthy ass looking shit at Costco. Alright, it's a bean blend of peas, beans, and lentils. Let's see what it is. So these ain't your like everyday refried bean type shit like these are rock hard ass rocks okay what but they pretty huh what you're supposed to do is soak them overnight which I just did in water look at all those colors and shit probably looks a lot better than it tastes the fuck do you want step six ignore the f ignore your fucking dog so the original recipe calls for like chicken gizzards or like chicken liver. I'm like, why don't we just go with some ground beef? P.S. Man, this summer cooking, this summer solstice fucking weather got me fucked up. I, I don't start car cooking till when it gets dark out and it's already like 8.30, 9. I'm like, fuck. Alright, so I got some beef thawing out in some uh, warm water. I chopped up the triad here, what this is all about here. All right? Onions, bell pepper, and celery. Now, I'm serious about this. Celery, like, gives you a good dick. Now, I'm serious. It, like, boosts testosterone. Like, you make more cum and shit, for real. Like, I don't know what it does for the pussy. So, and then we got some natural-style brown rice. But those are the main joints, okay? I'm, I have a, probably going to a little bit more beef than usual. And I'm going to add that, though. The beans. So dirty rice originally had just, just like a tiny, tiny bit of meat in it he, here and there throughout the rice. But like, I don't want to be an idiot. I don't want to play myself. I'm putting a pound of ground beef in that. Pound of ground beef in that motherfucker. So this is where it's going to start to look different, all right? No dirty rice starts off looking like this. So you can see I'm sweating down this, uh, the onions, the peppers, and the celery along with browning this. Also, I got super lean ground beef, like 90% or whatever, so I don't even think I'm going to drain this. Worshest of the Shimshirzis. The worshest of the Shirzis. Paprika. Paprika is very big for making it dirty. That's Paprika makes everything dirty. So you can put a lot up in that ass. Cayenne pepper. Not too much. Unless you like it really hot, but... Lately, I, I, I haven't been feeling really shitting out tons of hot shit. And there was another seasoning that I forgot about, but I think Old Bay is going to handle this. So my Snapchat's fucking up. I don't know if you saw me putting that broth. But now I'm about to smang, I'm gonna smang it with some rice. So I've never done this before, and... Um, I'm way out of my element, and this is a huge pot, and I'm just adding shit. I don't know what the I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But I st I stirred the rice in there, and it looks like I need more, I need to smang it again, smang it again with a little more rice. And here comes the here comes the beans, player. Oh, uh, that's enough. Stir it in there. Oh. You can really tell the vegetables I was sweating early, it smells good. 
So this is definitely a props kitchen where I really have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I give this a 20% chance of working. Here's what I'm concerned about. So I thought those beans, when I got them out of the fridge from overnight soaked in water, that they'd be soft. So I could just throw them in at the end and just have them warm up at the end. <laughs> Not the case, player. Not the case. They were like rock hard. So when I put them at the same time as the rice, beans are bigger than rice, probably take longer to cook. So by the time the beans are done, the rice might be overdone, more, too soft. But, oh well, you got some soft rice. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. What I should have done is Googled how to cook raw beans and shit. I could have easily Googled that, but fuck it. You're along with the ride with me. <laughs> You're going to see how. All right, now I'm going to bring this all up to a boil. Once that's going down, I'm going to cover it. Then I'm fixing to turn the heat down a little bit. Let it, let it ride, let it stew for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So I took out a little sample pack here, and it doesn't look done at all. The rice, we are far off. Do you see that right there? That is a piece of fucking broccoli. That green thing? What the, how the fuck did a piece of broccoli... Mmm. So, the good news is, the beans and the rice are both very far off so it's good with a pan this fucking big look at that that's fucking huge that's it'll probably take 45 minutes 50 minutes so i'll see you in another 25 minutes the suspension is killing me <laughs> uh, 20 minutes later it's like the dumbest shit of all time still not done i think i need to add more water so I think my problem with the cooking of the rice and everything, it, it dried up. And I really needed to put a lot more water in here and get everybody underwater. Squat! Oops, uh, I mean vegetable broth. Fuck. So with the hardness of the rice and the beans still, this is about the water I think it's gonna take for this to really soak it up and get to this consistency we want. Oh, motherfucker. Now that I'm completely tired, ready for fucking bed. It's done! <laughs> it's done! <laughs> now this is the consistency I was looking for. And it smells really fucking good. Let's, let's try it. Not gonna lie. It kind of looks like real dirty rice. Let's, let's eat it. <laughs> so now that it's after 10 p.m., I think we can eat dinner. Mm, okay. So I learned something new with you today. I think the holy trinity of this New Orleans dirty rice flavor is the celery, onions, and bell pepper. Yeah, I mean, I get some uh, smokiness of the paprika and uh, you get the heat from the cayenne, but the, the overall smell and the taste that's familiar, that sh But that Zatarans, that, that, that New Orleans uh, quintessential flavor, that is... When you smell it fresh, when you eat it fresh, that's that, those three ingredients. So, so the thing is, it's always good when you learn something, man. Truth be told, this is the shit. Prost Kitchen! Prost Kitchen. Prost Kitchen. Prost. What are you eating tonight? Man, I usually eat a lot of food, but this is a fucking army's worth. What the fuck? Any of my homies want some free food, holler at your boy tomorrow.